just now chat gpt announced a new plan specifically for indians and in this video we're going to explore how that plan is and how it is better than the existing plus plan or the free plan let's get started couple of hours back chat gpt's vp of product just announced this new plan called chat gpt go specifically for india and it comes at 399 rupees that roughly translates into four dollars but anyways this plan is not available other than india so this is specifically for indians who are watching this video so this is a new plan chat gpt go chat gpt already has a bunch of other plans First of all, you have got the free plan, which they don't specifically say what are the things that you are going to get. Then you have got the plus plan. Then you have got the pro plan. Currently, I'm on the plus plan. So now they have slotted in a new plan, which is cheaper than these two. So there is a go plan, there is plus plan and there is pro plan. And ideally, if you are from India, you should see this pricing in Indian rupees. I think because I'm currently on a plan, it's showing me in US dollars. But if you are in India, you should be able to see this in Indian rupees. And also you can use Indian UPI payment to make the payment. But what is very important is for us to figure out that if the plan is worth for us to use, because this is barely better than free plan. And it is a lot different from the $20 plus plan. I mean, it is almost similar like what they've done with the pro. So pro is a lot better than plus and plus is a lot better than go. If you see the GPT-5 access, on a free plan also you have got GPT-5 access by default chat GPT wants you to chat with GPT-5 because that is their default model on uh, the model router. But what you do not know is when you send a chat request on a free plan like for example I can go to the private window I can go chat GPT and I can just go ahead and then say who are you I mean I don't know if it is going to give me the right answer but technically this goes to a model router and then you might get GPT-5 you might get GPT-5 mini you might not get GPT-5 thinking. So it's what OpenAI's router decides what the free plan should get. But what OpenAI is saying is, if you are on the $4 plan or the 399 plan, rupees plan, then you get access to GPT-5. Then you have access to expanded messaging and uploads, uh, which is what I just showed you. Then you've got access to faster image generation. So ChatGPT also lets you generate images through ChatGPT interface. So you get access to that. You have longer memory and context. So ChatGPT lets you memorize the conversation that you have with ChatGPT and then it can uh, recall that memory and then do certain things. If I am on a weight loss plan, then I can tell ChatGPT I'm on a weight loss plan. And then later on when I'm asking for recipe suggestions, it will keep in mind that I'm on a weight loss plan and then it will give me recipe suggestions based on that rather than me reminding it to every time. And then finally, one of the biggest, I think, biggest mode of ChatGPT, I would say, is deep research. Their deep research is still one of the best in the industry. So you get limited deep research access. And then finally, you get access to the stuff that you have, the projects, tasks, custom GPTs. I'm not even sure who uses custom GPT now. Projects are quite helpful for you to create like a folder with the documents and all sort of things. But this is what you're going to get. So if you see the plus plan, what are you missing out from the plus plan? You don't get access to codex agent. I mean, quite mediocre. You don't lose out a lot. You don't get access to Sora video generation. If you are a content creator, you want a B-roll, then it makes sense to use Sora video generation. But average human beings, you don't need. Then the other thing is expanded deep research. Expanded deep research is, I think, the probably the biggest thing that you are missing out. But by not being on the plus plan and then the agent mode again a mediocre service not great at all um, expanded memory they have already given you memory expanded faster image generation honestly like at this point gpt5's image generation is again quite mediocre so you don't miss out a lot there expanded messaging same same i think the biggest thing you are missing out in this entire plan is gpt5 thinking I think the best model currently OpenAI has got is GPT-5 Pro. Obviously, I'm not paying $200 to OpenAI to get only GPT-5 Pro. So I'm paying $20 every month. I think about like 2300 rupees um, every month, including taxes and all those things I'm being charged currently. So this is, I'm doing it only for GPT-5 thinking. GPT-5 thinking is the model that I love using, is the model that is going to give me um, whatever I want. Like I go to GPT-5 thinking primarily for all sort of use cases. 
I used to do the same thing with O3. Now I can't do it because of the stupidity that opening has done. So now the $4 plan does not explicitly say that you are going to get GPT-5 thinking because it didn't say any advanced reasoning. So it's possible that you're getting GPT-5, GPT-5 mini thinking, but I'm not sure if they're going to give you GPT-5 thinking. So if there is one thing that you're going to miss out from the $4 plan, then it is GPT-5 thinking. But the question is, is it even worth signing up for this 399 i mean just because the plan is cheaper do you think indian should sign up for it first of all if you are using chat gpt free version are you hitting rate limit constantly if you're not hitting rate limit constantly are you feeling that the responses are mediocre it doesn't satisfy what you want if that is the case then it makes sense for you to go to some plan like go where you're paying 399 and getting this service otherwise honestly in my opinion it doesn't make any sense for you to go, if you are a free user, for you to go to a Go plan. But what users like me, if I'm on Plus plan, so for example, like I said, Codex is useless for me. Sora video generation is useless for me, hardly use it. Deep research is something that I use a lot. GPT-5 with advanced reasoning is something that I use a lot. So I'm considering if I should downgrade to the $4 plan from the $20 plan. So instead of paying 2,300 rupees or 2,200 rupees to open AI every month, I'm thinking, should I just give 400 rupees or 399 rupees? Because it makes a lot of sense for me to downgrade my plus plan, but it doesn't make any sense for me to suggest a free user plan to upgrade it to the Go plan. I mean, just because it's cheap, you don't have to upgrade it because that's what the companies will lure you into. And you've got a lot of other options, like you can have chat GPT app on your phone, you can have Gemini app on your phone, you can have free perplexity on your phone, you can have free Claude on your phone. So basically you can have the free version of all these apps. So I would say if you are on free plan, you don't have to go waste your 400 rupees or 399 rupees as the companies say. But if you are constantly getting frustrated with the free plan, then that is exactly where the chat GPT go comes into picture to give you a slightly more rate limit, like a slightly more expanded rate limit and as you can see here they're saying enjoy the more usage of our flagship model but they did not say advanced reasoning again they're very clever with this and even the vp of chat gpt as you can see here um very clearly mentioned 10 times more message limits 10 times more image generation 10 times more file uploads two times longer memory compared i mean all these are very well and good but it doesn't necessarily quantify what you're getting so here is a verdict. If you are on free plan, I wouldn't suggest you to go to 399 plan unless you are constantly hitting rate limits or constantly not getting what you want. Um, other than like deep research being a very important element to you. Um, but if you are on a $20 plan like me, probably I think it's, it's worth considering if we should downgrade it. I'm honestly contemplating if I should downgrade it and save 2000 rupees or like 1800 rupees every month which is like a lot of money in india so let me know what you think about this new plan from openai it's exclusive for india at this point but also they said like it might expand to other countries and regions in the future so let me know what you think see you in another video happy prompting